KSI is a highly successful YouTuber, rapper, boxer, businessman, and now football manager. Well, he can't be as bad as he is at shooting. So I've created KSI in Football Manager, and I put him in charge of the internet's football team, Hashtag United. As KSI improves, we'll see him get better jobs, and maybe one day win the Premier League with Arsenal. <laughs> no way. Oh, I can't believe this. KSI got sacked six months into the job at Hashtag United. I'll be honest, I think it's harsh, but he was either consistently unbeaten or consistently not winning. Although it does say that he lost the confidence of the dressing room, so I guess it's the players that just didn't like him. And after he was sacked, they only won two games, so maybe he wasn't the issue. Eight months later though, he gets his second job with Peterborough Sports, a division higher than Hashtag United. Just. Three points from relegation, not really a great season for him. I'm surprised he's not been given a job higher at the leagues though, because I have given him national reputation to reflect the fact that he is a really big name in the UK. But after leaving Peterborough Sports, at the end of his contract, a big club did take a chance on him. Oxford United in League One. Easy top three. If I'm not put 16th! So basically, Oxford hired him based on his name and nothing to do with his less than successful career so far. I think this only ends one way, which is obviously being offered the Rotherham job in the championship. He hasn't even had a top half finish at any team he's been with, let alone any silverware, and he's in the championship. Although he guides Rotherham to 10th place, which is their highest league finish since 1966. All right then, maybe he's actually onto something here, or not, as he gets sacked early into the following season. But don't worry, because he quickly finds a brand new job at Birmingham City where he gets them relegated from League One down to League Two. But yeah, training camp is going well. We're only five seasons in and this is already an absolute roller coaster of a career. He was given the chance to get Birmingham back promoted to League One and they did secure promotion just without KSI as the manager. Again, he was sacked after losing confidence of the dressing room, which is really confusing. He's got a model professional personality, his motivating and people management are absolutely insane, so I don't really understand what he's doing to upset all his players, which then forced him to be sacked. KSI spent the entirety of season seven unemployed, but he was given the crew Alexandra job after they got relegated from League One. And look who decides to start becoming a good manager. Crew comes second and KSI secures his first promotion of his career. But after a really poor start back to life in League One, the inevitable was coming. Rotherham once again offer him a contract to be their manager for the second time, finishing 17th in the championship, two places lower than when he joined the club. But I'm sure it will all be fine. Once he has a full summer under his belt and brings in the players that he wants, I'm sure he's gonna take Rotherham for a charge up the table to look to get to the Premier League. They came 24th and he got sacked. It wasn't even close. So I was fully expecting KSI to drop back down the leagues again to League One and Two, bounce around there a bit before Rotherham come in for a third time. But I was wrong because another championship side come in for him. Burnley appoint him in December 2032, and he saves them from relegation, taking them from the relegation zone to 12th place. After a good start to the new season with Burnley, 364 days after joining them, he leaves to go to Sheffield United and pulled off the same miracle again, eventually just missing out on the playoffs by four points. I don't know what's changed with KSI, but after a decade of poor performances, sackings and relegations, he's finally become a decent manager. The following season, he delivers another seventh place finish, this time missing out on the playoffs on goal difference. Will it be third time lucky? It is! Sheffield United finished second in the league, securing promotion, which means that our man KSI is a Premier League manager. But getting there was the easy part. Staying there is gonna be really difficult. So strap yourselves in by liking the video and subscribing to the channel as we enter the Premier League. For less than six months, as KSI gets sacked in January, as Sheffield United have one of the worst Premier League seasons of all time. The following season, he's appointed as manager of Cardiff for five months after winning just four league games. A year later, he then moves to Millwall for five months, this time only managing to win three league games. What has happened to him? Because he was on top of the world at Burnley and Sheffield United, and is now just awful. Perhaps he just isn't cut out to be a manager. I don't think he's ever going to have the success the world's greatest have. But that's not KSI. He's not a quitter. 
He's a fighter. He spends the next three and a half years dedicating himself to learning, researching, and discovering the secrets of football tactics. Before finally, he's ready. November 2042. He takes on the Swansea City job, saving them from relegation in the championship. The following season, he gets sacked. Three and a half years to learn and hone his craft for nothing. Maybe it really was just a waste of time and maybe he should just give up. So he decides to pack it all in and retire to Spain, enjoying an easy life in the sun. Until three and a half years later when a Spanish club in trouble asks for his help. La Liga side Rayo Vallecano had lost their previous manager Alessandro Bongiorno in April 2047 to Stoke City. So they needed someone to steady the ship for the rest of the season. And that's where KSI comes in. In fact, he did such a good job, they missed out on European football by just a single point. Maybe he still could be a good manager. As a result, Rayo Vallecano extended his contract. And after a great start to the brand new season, he was headhunted by German giants Wolfsburg, guiding them to seventh place in the Bundesliga and Europa League football. How far would KSI be able to take Wolfsburg in the Europa League next season? Well, We'll never know. Because KSI was headhunted by Inter Milan where he pulled off a miracle, winning Serie A in his very first season. Miraculously, this is KSI's first ever trophy. But what's better than one Serie A title? How about back-to-back -back Serie A titles and an Italian Super Cup for good measure? Sadly though, the Champions League was more difficult, getting knocked out in the round of 16 both seasons to Premier League opposition. The very same Premier League that had previously chewed him up and spat him out again, which resulted in nearly a decade of no managerial jobs. Maybe now was the time to give it another shot. But this time he has the dream role, manager, of Arsenal. In his first season, he missed out on the title by just a single point, but managed to guide the Gunners to European glory, winning the Europa Conference League against Juventus, a team he'd frustrated the past two seasons whilst manager of Inter. The following season, the Premier League campaign wasn't quite as good, only coming fifth, but he did secure the European Super Cup and Carabao Cup trophies. But sometimes you can't win everything as his third season ends trophyless, finishing 10 points behind title winners Newcastle. And perhaps the Arsenal fairy tale was coming to its conclusion, because midway through the following season, he was sacked for poor league positioning. But as one chapter ends, another begins. At the age of 61, he moves to Bayern Munich and wins the title in his first season, ending a decade of dominance from Borussia Mönchengladbach. The following season, he replicates the achievement, as well as winning the German Super Cup. But he could only manage second place in his third and fourth season, before dropping to fifth in his fifth season. He also couldn't make progress in the Champions League, being knocked out in the round of 16 every single season. So before he could get sacked, he left, returning to a club that loves him, Rotherham. I'm joking, it's actually Inter Milan, but he couldn't quite keep pace with Juventus, but did manage to beat AC Milan in the Italian Super Cup. The following season, the club slipped to fourth in Serie A, which was the start of a downward trend that he just couldn't stop. On the 29th of October 2062, at the age of 68, KSI was sacked for the final time. After 40 years of management, he decided to retire. Across his career, he won seven cups, although they were mostly super cups, four league titles, secured two promotions, and somehow only had two relegations. But how does his career compare to other managers that we simulated in the past? He might give Neil Warnock a run for his money, so go ahead and watch that video on screen right now. 